Hello everyone! It's been a while since we talked about electricity, but we gotta get back into it. Uh, so, last, no, last time we talked about electricity, uh, I had you guys do a simulation and then read out of the book. I wasn't even there for that, but um, it, apparently some of you did do really well, uh, but some did not. And so we're gonna go through uh, the questions and uh, I'm gonna set it up for you and then I'm gonna have you redo the the circuit sim questions because the average was about a C minus and I understand average wise that's probably not bad um, but yeah some of you did really well and some did not do at all so we're gonna try again so let's go to the first question um, there's obviously a link to the actual actual simulation in unit 8 you would click on that to get here and we're just gonna do the lab so click on the lab and then we have this first question and I think maybe this may have confused some of you because there's two options um, we're gonna go with the one on the right that's called the schematic view and that's gonna make it a little easier if we follow this because this is um, not as clear so this one is obviously our battery the small side is the negative side of the battery and this long side is the positive side and so that's what we want to set up to um, so there's that and then we have the light bulbs right here those two so now I need to set that up so I'm gonna have my battery and it actually the negative was on the right so I'm gonna move this so that the negative is on the right and then I'm gonna add some wires now in the drawing it has wires going down and then wires going in towards the light bulb and I think that's kind of what confused a lot of people too is not knowing where to connect the the wires to the light bulb so we're gonna put the light bulb in here in the middle so that's one but we need to add one more to make it a parallel And then I put wires in. I probably don't need to put these wires in, but I'm going to because it gonna, it's going to make it look kind of like the one on the question. All right, so I have it set up. It's in parallel, and everything's moving in the same direction. Um, so now I look at the question. Tell me the amperage of the wire right next to the battery using the amp meter. So I'll go over here and we use this amp meter. This tells me the current. See, amp meter. So I just have to put this right next to the battery. So I'm right next to it and it tells me 1.80 amps. So I go to my question and that should be an option. So 1.8 amps is an option. Okay, so then the second one, I have the same exact setup, woohoo! But the question on this one is, I want to put the amp, or the ammeter, to find the amperage, right next to the bulb, but which bulb? Does it matter? Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't, oof, okay. So yeah, if I put it right next to the bulb, in both cases, it's just 0.9 amps. So I would go to this one and I click 0.9 amps. All right, cool. So now we have our next one. This one's pretty simple. We just have to put, put you over there. I'm going to disconnect a light bulb and I'm just going to, I'm going to delete that, whatever. Um, if I put this right there, Disconnect, let's disconnect that. So now it's basically a series circuit. So it's all one line. I have to connect those two, obviously. Let me do that. There. So now it's going in a whole path one circuit. If I were to disconnect any point, obviously it's not going to work anymore because I've um, opened up that circuit. 
So, these are moving, um, the electrons are going, and we'll notice obviously that these lights are a lot dimmer, even though it's still two bulbs and one battery, they're not as bright as the one before, and that's kind of interesting. So the question is, tell me the amperage of the wire right next to the battery using the ammeter tool. Ammeter. So I'll put this right next to the battery, and we get 0 0.45 amps. And that's really interesting because it's quite a bit lower than the one we had up here, because this one was 1.8, I believe. All right. So, I have two bulbs connected to one battery. Which circuit makes them brighter? Hey, we just talked about that. You should be able to answer that. Check the values box on the right of your screen. Values, over here. It says click. Click the values on the right of your screen. Do you see the values? And this pops up. So put that over there. Okay, so it tells me some more information. So it tells me the voltage and the amount of resistance in the light bulbs. Or anything really. Which of the following objects in the simulator has the lowest resistance? So then you would go through all these objects. So I've got like a coin or something or a dollar bill or whoa, that's a lot of resistance. Same with the racer. So there's options. You just drag them out, look at them, and look for the lowest resistance. Using the lab tab in the circuit simulation, that's where we already are, create a circuit as follows. All right, so we have the parallel with a switch. Just ignore this bottom stuff because that just came with the picture. Tell me the amperage of the wire right next to the battery. Now, if you can follow a pattern, you should be able to tell me the answer without actually doing it, but if you set this up and put the amp meter or the amp meter right next to the battery or either side, it's going to give you one of the answers. All right, same for this one, but I want you to put it next to the third lamp over here and tell me what the value of that is. And it should also follow the same pattern. And then to figure this one out, this was kind of the challenging one, you have to set this up and tell me which bulb is actually going to be the brightest. And to see that, you actually probably have to just do it, and then you'll find out. All right. What direction do the electrons flow? You should know that one based on our notes. If you don't remember, you can go back through our notes presentation, which is in Schoology. How many light bulbs in parallel can you light or have lit up before the fuse breaks? So you have to add a fuse. All right, that was confusing. Let's do that. So let's go. Oh, I saw it. So this is a fuse. A fuse can only handle so much amperage before it breaks. That's how fuses work, which is kind of cool. So if we take this and break it, put this in between. So now um, we can actually see how much amp is going through this. So it's only 0.45, so that's not going to break this. But what it's asking you is how many in parallel. So obviously parallel must have more current in order for it to work. So we're going to put this fuse right by the battery, and we're going to add in a bunch of these in parallel. And in order to do that, we want to set it up like we had before. Just gonna cut that. All right. So we've got you and you. Let's just use this. All right. So I've got one set up. Actually, let's break that. Put you up there. All right. So then I add some more wires. And I'll put this one here. Why are you tilted? Okay, so put that there. 
All right, so now we have two in parallel. What's our amperage at? 1.79, okay, so we're getting closer. Now, uh, make sure you're using the right light bulb. This is not the right one. We have to use the one up top here. And so we need to put another one in. All right, so we have three. And then I would put another one in. And however many more you can fit. So if I just keep filling them in like this, it should, you know, keep going. So uh, that's how you set up that question. And that's the last one. So you put in your answer. Obviously, it's more than three, or at least three, because we had one, two, three, four. So four, three is not the answer. It could be four or more. So go ahead and redo this. Uh, quiz and uh, try it again. Good luck. Bye.